think uh, we are going to see a li- slightly better quarter than what we've seen. Uh, but one needs to be extremely stock specific and sector specific uh, in terms of identifying the stock ideas with a long term growth story. On the election front, well, I think first phase is over. Uh, we will possibly be entering the second phase uh, this week. And I must say one thing, if nothing at all, but one thing I would like to say is that this is the most bitterly fought election with acquisition, counter acquisition coming in from all sides. I think 23rd May would be very much awaited in terms of the result outcome for the election. Uh, on the monsoon front, uh, again, there has been a mixed commentary uh, with the first half of the monsoon being a little bit lower than what the estimates were of long term averages. And the second half would be a slightly better than whatever we've seen in the long term average. But again, a little bit premature, I think we'll have more commentaries from the Met and SkyMet coming through, which will give us a lot of clarity. On the markets, we are in the range and we will stay in the range. I don't think there's going to be any breakout or breakdown. The range for the Nifty stands at 11,500, 11,550 on the lower side, 11,650, 11,700 on the higher side. So that's going to be a broad 200, 250 odd points range on the uh, Nifty and maybe about 700 to 800 points range on the 10 sets. And that's what we are going to oscillate. But having said that, I think there's going to be a lot of focus on stock specific with the earnings unfolding. And uh, purely from a short to medium term, what we have advised our clients is that before, as we approach the election outcome date, result date, and as we see the result unfold and as we go higher on the markets, purely from a short to medium term point of view, I think it is most prudent to increase your uh, cash component that is book profits and from a long term uh, uh, investment time horizon I think this closer to 11,500 or below if you get an average if you get an opportunity would be a great buying opportunity but going forward I think with earnings in focus stock specific moves would be seen on the rupee dollar broad range stays at about uh, 68, 75 on the strength on the INR 69, 40, 69, 50 on the weakness and I expect some amount of pull off on the crude oil which will be extremely positive for uh, emerging market economy like India.